And with that, we say welcome back to the studio. This is Lagos Talks 91.3 FM. My name is Ulu Akaide. We're having an exclusive interview with uh, Dr. Sani Abdullah Shinkafi, a chieftain of uh, the APC, and is joining us uh, virtually uh, this morning for this conversation. Dr. Shinkafi, thank you for your time uh, this morning. Uh, thank you very much for having yeah. me on this program. Touching on... Uh, quickly uh briefly on this uh the national assembly we just touched on that like two more uh issues then we go to all the um activities that are happening in nigeria that has to do with the apc and uh, your candidate so with the emergence of this members the leadership the principal officers of the house of the national assembly um the party has spoken but the national leader in the sense, which is a president, who is a president rather, uh, has not said anything. Is the president okay with this choice of uh, leadership or did he really have a hand in the choice of the leadership? Going by the separation of power in a presidential system of government, <laughs> the president is independent. Yes. As an executive, so he has nothing to subtract or to add. But he's the in terms of the, the national leader. In of terms the of the, if he's the national leader of the party, he can only speak for APC. He cannot speak for the minority. Of course, I mean, yeah, the APC. Yes, yeah, yeah because the composition of the presiding officers is a formation of. Majority and minority yes. leaders. So, of course, I was looking at the APC angle of it, the majority part of it, where those is recommendations. Of course, he's not the one to choose, but where those is recommendations that were considered, or was he also caught on aware like the... Um, the but, but, but the APC as a party and Mr. President as a national leader of the party can only play an advisory role. Yes, I know, but I'm saying the advice he so gave... uh, directly or indirectly. Yes, the, if the nomination is... has gone. Has I know, gone the out advice of their he gave, way. Did it? Does it align yeah. with the outcome what, or is it different? What, I, what I was saying, what I was say, telling you. Yes, directly or indirectly, both the party and the president as a national leader of the party. The decision of the members of the national assembly cannot be injurious to them. As I have said earlier, they are only playing at the Basel role. I understand. And the most, you, the well, most important thing in the presidential system of government yes. is for the executive and the members of National Assembly to have a harmonious working relationship. And that, and that is understood. I mean, you've, of this, the, you've said you've said this implementation. Issue. But but yeah, that's that implementation let me program policy of the government. Let me chip this in, Dr. Shinkafi. Today it appears yeah. like you are you're not answering my questions directly. I just want to know. No, I've answered your question. No, Mr. Well, President. I, like... I know his advisory he can give. Mm -hmm. I mean, advices he can or advice he can offer to the your members, the APC members okay. in the National Assembly. So I ask again that the advice he gave. And the results of the APC leadership in the National Assembly, do they tally or are they, um, you know, it doesn't align? Do they align with his advice or the new leadership of the APC in the National Assembly is different from his recommendation or advice to the party in the National Assembly? Can you speak to that? Well, I, well, I, well I'm not in position to know whether the president has interest in the composition of the of the newly uh, obeyed presiding uh, mm -hmm. officers of the National Assembly. Okay, all right. So, so let me, I can. Uh, I'm not in good position to speak. Speak on that. All right. But I have let's look at, let's look at that. Let, let's look at this. The president, the the president can only play an, an the basic role. I understand, but let's look at this because of time. Now there are your new, the new, the membership, the composition of both the majority and minority uh, leadership of uh, the assembly, the National Assembly. Um, there were talks that APC, not the presidency, not uh, the party, but the members of the house are interested in who uh, comes up as the minority leaders in the National Assembly. And of course, we know that uh, in the House of Rep, we have uh, Honorable Kingsley Chinda, who is an ally of 
Governor Wike, the former governor of River State, and Governor Wike is seems to be to have a very uh, jolly relationship with the APC right now. So, would you say the emergence of uh, Honorable Chinda uh, has the input of the APC within the National Assembly? So they have a right to vote. Would you say they influence that in any way? Well, traditionally, it is the members of the minority party who will come up with the list of those who will be leaders of the minority leadership in the National Assembly. If you look at the composition of the minority leadership in the House of Rep, you see members of uh, NNPP, yeah. I included, member of uh, Labour Party, mm -hmm. is included, a member of PDP. So it is not a decision of PDP per se, but it's a collective decision of the opposition political parties in the House of Representatives. PDP, N NMPP, ABGA, Labour Party, YPP, and SDP. Yeah. So these are the composition of the minority political party, and they have to meet and agree who will be who will champion the cause of the business of the House of Representatives uh, as a minority party. So that's it. That that is how it works. Mm. So, it is the minority. It is National Assembly Minority Caucus mm. who will now agree and nominate who will be minority leader, deputy minority leader, the minority whip, and deputy minority whip. And, and the deputy that minority whip. The deputy minority whip is from Labour Party, George Ozodinobi, yeah. who happens to be a member of Abga, representing Anocha, Dunukopia, Injukoka, Fair Constituency from Anambra State. So he has been, he's not a first timer. He has been in there. Mm -hmm. he has, yes, he's not a he's not a, a first timer. Yeah. He's not a new new to the National Assembly business. Yeah. So that's it. All right. So and it's from uh, Labour Party. Okay, so just just for clarity, you know, there were talks, like I said, that the APC had an interest in, in who the leadership, uh, how the leadership of the minority turns out. So are you saying now uh, for a fact that uh, you did not influence it in any way? And by you, I mean the APC in the House, not the party well, the it, committee, not the president, but the APC in the House. Do you have any information regarding that, whether you influence it or not? No, I don't, because in politics, you cannot avoid the blackmail and mischief making. A lot of people have been pointing Wiki as the brain behind the nomination of the minority leadership in the Senate and the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. But in fairness to him, uh, the right does not lie within the power of Wiki to influence the outcome of who will be in the minority leadership of the both houses. Uh, uh, houses. So, so in politics, you cannot run away from this uh, accusation, uh, claim and counterclaim, blackmail, mischief making, and all kinds of propaganda. So, I, 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 it has no basis. Hmm. All right, it doesn't hold. Well, well, as well, well, as well, like you said, influence. So, he, assuming he has the influence, he could influence it from the outside. Is that not possible? If he can influence PDP, can he influence Labour Party or Abga or NNPP? So it's not possible. That's the question. Not it's not possible. It's just it's not possible. All right. It's just a mere political this. political propaganda. Hmm. Okay. If you can touch on this for me for one minute, because we need to wrap the wrap up the program. Uh, we have one uh, lady featuring in the final list, and that is uh, Adeomi Onunuga. Um. Hmm. Really, we expected to see a a lot of input and representation for ladies. We know we've seen that with the special advisors, that is uh, nominations for the special advisors to the president. But like you rightly said, we need to separate the powers. So the president is doing that um, in the National Assembly. We're not seeing, and not just for you now, but in National Assembly, one lady. How does that sit with you? Well, that uh, that uh, that uh, with the composition of the minority and the uh, the presiding officers in the 
House representative. Yes. The ladies' house uh one percent representation mm -hmm. because the composition, you know, the principal officers are ten mm. in the in the in the House of Reps, even in the Senate. Yeah. So it means that they have uh ten percent of ten percent out of uh the ten presiding officers, mm -hmm. which is not enough. Yeah, because going by the affirmative action, it's, uh, I think they are they are struggling to get thirty five percent. But uh, what we are trying to do, we are still learning from the developed country who have been in in, uh, in democracy for over two hundred years. Nigeria is still not gender sensitive in terms of uh appointing women in their positions. Position. All right. So I think as time goes on, they will be able to get maybe 30% or 20%. Hmm. But I'm calling the national leadership of National Assembly and Mr. President and all leaders of political party will have to be gender sensitive hmm. so that they now be given some political position also to play their role in the uh, in, in the political development of this country. Okay. If you look at now the composition, it means that the women have been marginalized. Exactly. So That's what each of the national assemblies to be gender sensitive. And there are not a lot of them, so it's easy to actually appoint uh, the women in the house. Anyway, Dr. Shinkafi, thank you so much for your time today.